Welcome guys, today I'm going to teach you how to use business events, so don't leave and learn Mendix with me. So today we are going to use as a basis a project that Mendix makes available on the academy. So both are regarding the business events learning path. One is located on the module 3.1.1. And the second, it's on the 4.1.1. We are going to start by downloading the starter app of order management. Just click. I'm going to leave all the links in the description. So, and then we can also click to download the second one. So after you download the modules, you can open your Mendix Studio and on the left side, you can select Import App Package, select the Business Events V10 L3.1.1, double click. Here you can just uh, select New Mendix Team Server and keep the, the same location or change it if you want. You can we cannot use this name so let's just change it i'm going to rename to business events three so after you open the project you can go to order management main model and check if the entity is available if it is it's all okay so you can go to order management right click at order and select business event here we can select create a new business event service and change the name to be order the uh, status Date service. Click OK. Here on the left side, we can click in business event definition, click add. Let's create a new event called order cancelled. Here we can go to attributes, click add. Let's Select the order key, the name, and type. We can add integer. Click OK. Next. Other apps can subscribe to events. Click done. And as you can see, these business events service implements an order cancelled with a new created entity if you go to the domain model you can check that you have one new entity here now we can go to order new edit right click on the save button and let's just modify a little bit this microflow so go to retrieve select from database Select order on the range first, and here on the XPF we can write order. Sorry, without the dollar sign. So order ID it's equal to order slash order ID. We can ch also change the object name to order before change. Click OK. And now we can just drag and drop a decision. Inside the caption, we can write order status. 
changed to cancel. And on the expression, we can select order slash order status. It's different from order before change slash order status and order order status it's equal to equal to order management order status dot cancelled to the right side we are going to select the condition value as true and to below let's add other elements and event and it should automatically appear as false. Now create a new object to the happy way. So create double click entity order cancelled new member and select order ID where we are going to to fill with the value order slash order ID. Click OK again and let's search for publish business events just drag and drop at the microflow i'm going to to do a zoom so double click subject and write an order is castle so just click ok business event New order cancel. Click OK. Just for debugging, we can also add a log message. So search for a log, drag and drop. Log name, we can write and write uh, order management. And on the templates, we can just put some parameters here. So on the first dot, and then the second is created at the third parameter. And right here on parameters, you can just write new. And the first one, it's new order cancelled service name the second will be also the new order cancelled event name and the last one should be the new order cancelled create date but because it's a date we need to convert it to a string so to string And click okay. just save everything let's go back to the business event and click in export async api document you can just save it and was actually exported to see if everything is working you can publish your application so click in publish on the top so while this is publishing the first project we can open another instance of the studio clicking import package let's select so the project from the the module number four and also change the name to business events uh, business events four 
delete everything and also this space pick okay so soon as it open the project you can go to order fulfillment right click add other business event service and this time select use an existing business event service and document name we can change it to pe order uh, status update service and browse and select the file that we export before click ok so it show up this message click ok and then you can go to subscribe and select the business event order cancelled and leave this microflow as it is now if you go to the domain model you can see that also have a new entity so for the order cancelled this is a generalization of the consume business events and now you can go to handle b order cancelled double click so inside this microflow you will create the logic that will execute when the, the service is called so here we can just here we can go just to the toolbar drag it and drop the retrieve double click from database entity this time we are going to select shipping just select the first one and as the xpf we can write order id equal to the order cancelled slash order id just click ok now we can go to change object double click select the shipping object click in new shipping status we can generate and find cancels click ok ok again and in action we need to click yes to commit and also yes to refresh in client so everything is done let's also publish this project so after both applications are published we can go to view app and open both applications so go to also to other project view app and here on the business events 3 go to new create an order date so and just select the day total amount 20 order order status you can keep as pending and save and the business events 4 we are also going to create shipping object with the same order id that we have on the first application so one we can keep the hl here for the date we can just select today and shipping cost we can keep the same shipping status we also keep the pending so click and save and if everything went well if we change the order status to cancelled it will also update the information on the other application so let's test we can save we can go to the shipping just refresh the page and as you can see also says cancelled another way to see if everything is working fine it's go to the sprinter On the sprinter you can just click in the business event 3 go to environments
clicking view live log and we can create just another object so like the total amount can be 12 just save as you can see it's nothing here so if we create also a shipping overview order order id 2 ups select the date we can save we go back to the order application change the order status to cancelled click ok you can see that one log so the the log message that we create to, uh, saying the name of the service and then the event name is created at and then the time if you try to run the business events locally you will see that they are not working the next tutorial i'm going to teach you how to create a development environment to be able to run the business events locally and that's it so don't forget to leave the like and subscribe to the channel i hope to see you soon Bye-bye.